Hey guys and welcome to another video. So when it comes to 762 by 51 ammunition, that ammo is some of the best ammo in the game, minus obviously the Lapeur rounds. I'm pretty sure the M61, M62, M993, even M80, they are some of the most devastating bullets in the game. Now if you whack them in a DMR, like a SR25 or a Hunter, they do some insane damage now imagine putting a 50 round magazine into an sr25 even with m80 which is what i rocked when i was using this but let's say you was using m62 you gotta understand that m62 two taps most rigs and armors in this game i mean it one taps all helmets so realistically this gun is so amazing we used it for a decent amount of time and absolutely slapped people with the nerf to the dmrs I, the, the sa and the mdr are in the league of their own nowadays don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful so when it comes to buying this gun it is actually based off a barter trade with mechanic at tier 4 so if you're not this level then i'm sorry but this is what it's based off you're gonna need four nixel lenses now they do normally go for around about 20k so let's say that is a fully 80k right there for this gun. Now the thing is, when you actually build this gun, you're actually going to rip off quite a few of the parts. So let's head over to the actual build of this gun. Here we go. And here is the full build just here. So what we're going to do is show you all the parts that you're actually going to need to buy. Because a lot of the parts are actually already come on the gun itself, there isn't actually a lot of parts you're actually going to need to build. You're going to need to get the NC Star MPR 45 backup mount, the Magpul RVG 4 grip, a short X400 Ultra Tactical Flash Knight. Now, when it comes to this, I prefer to use a flashlight slash laser combo. I love to blind my enemies, just how I roll. A PKO6, now the reflex sight is all down to you. PKO6 is only 8k, which is why I use it. The blast mitigation device, all three parts, and then the Lantat Dragon 762x51 muzzle brake, the Trijicon TA51 sight mount, and then finally the Trijicon ACOG 4x32 scope. Buying all of these parts from the vendor is 100k, but if you buy it from the flea market, you can get it for 90k. So, as you can see here, we're going to assemble everything here and you can see the parts are popped up the top here. Now, like I said earlier, this is one of the best parts about this build. If we sell everything, we do actually get back around about 45 to 50k for all of the parts. And then right here, the total cost of the gun is basically 30 to 40k. But this build right here, this is 30, 40k. 41 ergonomics, 112 vertical recoil, as well as 192 horizontal. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Don't forget to head over to the Twitch channel. We're going to be showing you some highlights of me absolutely decimating with this build. This gun is just so good. Out and about, I have it on semi-auto because that recoil is, is a bit nutty. But inside, we back this thing on full auto with a good old fat old drum mag. I don't think I've got any around big fat old drum mag we just absolutely decimate people with m80 with the 50 rounders it's absolutely incredible but guys i hope you enjoy the twitch clips and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> Oh! 
One up so you <laughs> win! <laughs> oh, I just saw him. I think he's a mantis. I did the well, it's a silly boy not to move, any. I don't know if I Oh yeah, it's a mantis. Can you shoot? Can I shoot? Yeah, there's two tap or something. Uh, I'm trying to find something that doesn't sound like my <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna make it sound like a scab. <laughs> but he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. No, I just have a number of different playstyles, and I figure out which playstyle complements the person that I'm playing with, and then I play that playstyle. That's why I make the like the most amazing teammate, unless your playstyle is inconsistent every raid, in which case I don't have a fucking clue what it is that I'm supposed to do on the battlefield. Uh, who was that? You were playing with someone who was like that. I can't remember the name. played with a few people like that, and it's really difficult to try and understand what to do so I just then take lead and make them follow me because I get sick and tired trying to adapt. Because um, you're like um, hyper aggressive, right? Go on, sorry. Hyper aggressive, I take the shots when I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you're you're like much more zingy than the average person. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you <that's> true. <laughs> Mate, I watched that. That was filthy. I fucking loved it. I'm moving up to you. Did I really just get down? I actually got a jam coming up those stairs. What if I see the evasion armband? It's because like people put them on. It's a competition, so I assume that they think they're good. It's not hate to evasion. Like if they have it on, that means they're competitively ready, right? Ah! Fuck me, I should maybe jump. Oh, bro, your back looked like you fucking broken half, man. His back broken half because he tried to lie down. <laughs> Hello? Seven twelve. Yeah, so twenty hours. I worked four days on, four days off. In that time frame, so you got to understand that. I go to bed at 10.30, even though technically it should be 11. I'm on call, so I might get three or four phone calls at night, right? And then I wake up, start streaming at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I have two hours overlap, and I would stream until 12. And then I'll start my day job. During my day job, at around about 8 o'clock at night when it gets a bit quiet, that's when I can start editing my videos, right? Yeah. And then I would edit whilst I'm doing my day job, but obviously concentrate on my day job more because it's my day job. And then the four days I have off, I stream like, you know, eight, ten hours whilst then editing and recording. Oh, I did. Well, we do have a 103 build. That absolutely fucking decimates.
One tapped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna say. <laughs> Please turn off your hands, I beg of you. You dead? Yeah, maybe we should see if you. Oh, you're absolutely dead! There is someone there, dude!